we are in our 40s and mm -hmm. this is the first time that we've ever become aware of a lie that we have been told our entire lives. Yeah. So we want to share this with you. It is time to shed some light on this issue, this mm -hmm. problem that has been occurring for 40 plus years. Yeah, 44 years 40 for me. 40 plus more for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 40 less for, less than 44 for me. Right, yes, absolutely. So, um, we, okay, so let me give you a little background, a little history. We've been in the low country of South Carolina for eight years now, but before that, we were both born and raised in the mountains of Southwest Virginia. Not Southwest Virginia, it was actually Southwest Virginia. Virginia <laughs> and so we're from the Appalachian Mountains and um, some of the words we say are apparently part of the Appalachian culture and not really words right. so what happened is we recently had um, wasps to build a nest at our church and where they built the nest they were actually able to get inside the building so one Sunday morning during the service there were wasps flying around inside the church and as Brian was preaching he had to state the obvious which was there was a wasper in the church a wasper yes this is all we've ever known them to be absolutely waspers waspers and so we didn't want people to get stung no or bit do they sting or bite they sting stung by the waspers <laughs> I thought they bite no okay they sting and um, so you issued a wasper warning. A wasper warning. Okay. So. <laughs> and we proceeded to talk to other people about what to do about the wasper problem. For a how while. to get rid of the waspers. For several weeks. Yes. Okay. Uh, what sprays or what traps. Yes. So we, we, have, we actually have a trap. Yes. Yeah, should so. be used to rid us of the wasper problem. Yes. That our church was having. Yes. Uh, and this has been last summer. Uh, yes. Yes. So for almost a whole year, yeah. our, everybody in our church has heard us talk about waspers. Yes, and then finally, um, just about a week ago, uh, a really, obviously, a very good friend of ours. Maybe uh, our only friend. <laughs> possibly. So, uh, Jim, who came to me uh, while we were eating lunch and said, I've never heard of the word wasper before. And I was like, what? <laughs> Wasper. Google it. Do you know? and so we Googled it right there, and then we disappointingly find out that it's actually supposed to be wasp, and uh, and proof is on the box here, wasp. And so we feel betrayed just a little bit. Um, By teachers, parents, yes. grandparents, <laughs> cousins, pastors, Sunday school teachers. Uh, lies. All lies. Wasper is not a word. It's not a word. But I will say that I do believe that the people that came up with Wasper has decided that there has to be something to distinguish between a plural and a single form, a singular form of the word. Because Wasper is singular and Waspers is plural, right? Whereas if you say Wasp and then you say Wasp, it sounds the same, you know? So I don't know. But uh, anyway, I've got to kick the habit of saying Wasper. Only if you are from Southwest, Southwest Virginia. <laughs> Do you know the word wasper? Wasper. So there you go. 